Sanders, one of Tasmania's top prospects to watch out for the number one. Freak, fellow AFL Academy teammate there in Hardeman to Hall, but his kick has been chopped off and an opportunity here for Connor O'Sullivan to rebound for the Allies. Of course, uh, quite a few, um, I guess, family connections, O'Driscoll. Tackle on that occasion coming from Lance Collard, a player for West Coast fans to keep an eye on. Nick Williams, who is one of six, one of five today, named in the starting 22, that is, Suns Academy prospects. Attached to the Sydney Swans Academy. His kick was smothered off the boot. An opportunity here for WA to pounce. Uh, Edwards, rather, pokes the kick inside the arc. But it's going to be a turnover. And O'Sullivan again reading it nicely. Send it out towards the wing. Highly rated intercepting marker, uh, def defender rather. Sends it to a pack inside 50 off hands. Allies have the numbers. They link up nicely to Haviland inside 54 WA. O'Sullivan met it, but Smith at the back, pounced on a loose ball, got the hand pass away. It's just and remarkably just played the, the eight Colts games in the recent times just due to injuries. Here's O'Sullivan for the Allies. Sends it in the middle of Thibodeau and Oval, raising up. That's a terrific pluck. Out of Wilston Grange, grew up in Northern Territory as well, moved to Queensland a couple of years ago. Here's O'Sullivan, had a good start to the game, Connor O'Sullivan. And pass that one to Callanan. He just got his handball away. O'Sullivan kept on running. Paddled the ball forward. A long ball down the line from behind was O'Sullivan. Now a chance for the Allies. As Reed kicks short. And O'Sullivan can try and generate something for the Allies off halfback. Beautiful kick towards the advantage of Kirk. WA, they just have to get Kelly feeds Torrent towards half forward through the things of a teammate. Another intercept for O'Sullivan. Back to Rogers. Callanan. Marks on the wing and they want to give and go here. O'Sullivan working hard up the ground. Beautiful hand pass to McCoy. Not his best effort, but a great trap from Kelly who wheels around and jams it on the boot inside the arc to a pack. Kenfield presents their only goal kicker. Bombs it long towards full forward. It's off hands. Have to kick this all of 50 metres. It looks pretty good off the boot. It's going to go right to the line. Doesn't quite have the journey. And the Allies through McKercher can, can perhaps get out of jail. Well, they're under pressure in the back half. A free kick. The beneficiary, as Cal mentioned to Mark McVeigh at quarter time. Big first quarter from Connor O'Sullivan. Coming up for disposal number 11. Already has... The six marks, the Albury product. Reed is there, big fly over the top. His capability to go forward and do what he just did then without the conversion is certainly on his side. The Allies can take it up, this broadcast wing. There was snapped up by Smith who takes grass and sends it long inside, 50, arms up high, and there he is again. Connor O'Sullivan, close to best on ground so far. Dangerous kick into the middle though. Did he go out of bounds, Hardeman? He didn't, according to the boundary umpire. The one-two with O'Driscoll, inside 50. Crumbed nicely. It spills to Kelly of Western Australia. De Havilland, sweeping hair pass down the line. Got a... Emble behind his head. Now Torren inside 50, a kick in hope. Reed drop was a pretty difficult mark in the end. Ball was swirling in the air. De Havilland. Calls. The run on the outside instead goes inboard, long and direct. Fly over the top, missed there by Graham. De Havilland was thinking about pouncing on it, but just the ability to outnumber the Allies has been. And the goal as well. It's WA winning out of the middle. And as far as O'Sullivan, another one who's performed really well for the Allies. Sanders will track it for the Allies. He passes backwards to O'Sullivan. 30 chance as well. Graham, long kick to the outer side. O'Sullivan read it best. The skipper for the Allies today. He's performed pretty well as he looks for Walter on the lead. Pretty handy day at the office. You can see why he's being compared to Zach Merritt, the left foot. The ability to arch the back, and explode away. Very exciting. May was there to support. McKercher centers it. And McCaw, uh, O'Sullivan rather has drifted forward and taken the mark. 
Murray Bushrangers out there today from a tight angle to the near side. And this Allies team under Mark McVeigh makes another statement at Feminine Oval. An 88-point demolition.